In this video, I'm going to be teaching how to solve the statistics questions in the basic uh, maths that you are going to be writing. Now, there are several things that you are going to be considering while writing the basic maths. Statistics is one of the questions you should be expecting at least three to five questions from statistics. If you follow me all through as I solve this question, you are going to understand how to tackle every question on statistics. Now, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, please click the subscribe button so that you can get notifications as we release videos that are going to help you in answering your basic maths pass question. Now, some of the things we're going to be discussing before we solve this question are factors like... Um, mean, mode, median, and range. Now, we need to understand it before we can start solving questions and statistics. Now, the first one is what? Mean. Now, another word for mean is also called average. Now, how do you calculate the average of a number or the mean of a number? It is the sum of the number, the sum of the numbers divided by total numbers total number okay so now for you to calculate the average let's um, for instance if you're giving let's say calculate the average of five four and um let's say six okay so if you're asked to calculate the mean or the average of five four and six all you do you sum it up which is five plus four plus six all divided by how many numbers one two three so that's three so this is going to give us a um, five plus four is going to give us nine nine plus six is going to give us this is 15 over three and that will give us what five so the mean it's five now you've understood the concept of mean let's go into mode okay so now Mode. Mode means the highest occurring number. Occurring number. Okay? So, which number repeats more times than the other number? For instance, for example, um, if you're given 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, and 6. If you are asked to calculate the mode, find the mode if you're asked to find the mode in this question now notice two occurred how many times two occurred one now three occurred one and two three occurred two times four occurred once five occurred one two and three so five came out three times why six occurred one now which one occurred more which one has the highest occurring frequency it's called what mode will be that five because it occurs how many times it occurs three times so the answer is what five our mode it's five so whenever you see question of mode look for the one that occurs more than the rest okay so the next one we're going to be talking about is the median Okay, median, it's anytime you hear the word median, just remember the word middle. So it's like the middle number. For instance, if you're giving, um, for example, find the median of one, two, um, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, if you're asked to find the median, now, you can see that this number has been arranged in an ascending order. So one of the first things you have to do is to make sure that they are all arranged in ascending order, even if they are disorganized. So now, what's our middle number? From here, we'll count to 1, 2. So from here, we'll count to 1, 2. So the middle number here is what? 3. So median, it's what? 3. But there are some special cases where you get some kind of numbers and you need to, um, you won't just have a direct answer. Let's take for instance, if you're giving example, you're giving 3, 6, um, 5, and um, 4. And you're asked to find the median. Find the median. Okay? So now, in order to find the median, you have to arrange them in ascending order. So we'll arrange 3. 4, 
um, five and six. Now watch. We have three here. We have six here. So the, these two numbers lies in the middle. Now when we have two numbers lying in the middle, we take what? The average of the two. So our median, it's going to be four plus five divided by what? Two. And four plus five divided by two give us nine over two, which is what? 4.5. So you can see our median is going to be what? 4.5. So now you understand the concept of median. Let's go to the final one. And that's what? Range. So range. So now range is defined as the highest number. Highest number minus the lowest number. Okay. So for instance, for example, for example, if you're given three, four, five, six, and you're asked to find the range. Okay, so what do you do now? What's our highest number here? We have um, 6 minus the lowest number, which is what? 3. So our range is what? 3. Now you understand the concept of a mean, mode, median, and range. We're going to be solving several questions, about 6 to 8 questions on statistics alone. Now, if you understand, if you join us as we solve all these questions, you are going to understand how to solve these questions on your exam day and you are going to get every question that comes out on statistics. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can get the update as we release the part two video of the statistics questions.